Today, I am gonna show you an easy way to get one UI look on your any Android device. Obviously, it won't be the exact perfect look but it will be overall similar. So, to achieve one UI look on your Android device, you need to install two basic apps. Number one, Nova Launcher and the second one is One UI Icon Pack. The third app which you can use for wallpapers is Wallpy. It does have every smartphone's original wallpapers but take it as an optional app to install. So let's start the actual procedure by downloading Nova Launcher and One UI Icon Pack. Once you have downloaded Nova Launcher from the Play Store, the first thing we need to do is to make it as a default launcher. Just tap on the Nova Launcher icon to open it and quickly go through the general procedure of setting it up. Then go to the Nova settings, scroll down a bit and then make it as your default home screen launcher. Now we will start with the desktop settings. So change the desktop grid to 6 rows and 5 columns or whatever you like and tap on done. Then tap on icon layout, change the icon size according to your display size because you know it varies device to device. Set the label to light and uncheck the single line as well and keep the font size small then leave the option of padding as it is tap on the dock set dock pages to 1 or anything of your choice and then dock icons to 5 then tap on icon layout check it to match desktop size and change font to either condensed or light reduce the size of the font and uncheck the single line option Go back and set search bar placement to none as we don't want it. After that, set the scroll effect to simple. Keep scrolling down and enable these options if you would like them to be turned on. So that's it for the desktop. Go back and tap on the app drawer. Choose vertical style for an app drawer and then set app grid to 6x5 or whatever you would like it to be. Then tap on icon layout and choose the same options as we did for the desktop. Such as font size will be changed to light and a single line has to be unchecked as you would expect and the font size will be a bit smaller. Then change the background transparency to 10% or 0%. It's totally up to your taste and choose background color as white or black. Then frequently used apps. Toggle this on or off and again it's up to you. Change top bar to search bar and then tap on the search bar style. Make these changes over here and that's pretty much it for this section as well. Go back to the main menu and choose folders. Tap on window style and then select immersive mode. Keep the background color dark, it's totally up to your taste but the overall symmetry and colors has to be the same. And the transparency level above 50% and the corner radius at 20 to 25 dB. Then set scroll direction as horizontal. Then go back and tap on the icon layout, again apply the exact same settings which we have done for the desktop section. Then go back and set the transition to zoom. And then set folder icon appearance settings like this. You can also do it according to your taste and it really doesn't matter much. Then go back to the main menu and tap on look and feel. Tap on the icon theme and choose one new UI icon pack which you had downloaded earlier with the Nova launcher. Set icon shape to adaptive. Check mark reshape legacy icons and adaptive icon animations. Also play a little bit with the animation speed as well and adjust these according to your taste. And that's pretty much it. There is also an extra feature and to enable it just go back to the main menu and scroll down a bit, tap on the home button and choose one of your most used actions or an app. After that go back to your home screen and place every app in order like this. This way it will look clean. And the last step is to choose the wallpaper. So just open the wallp app and choose one of your favorite wallpaper and apply it. By the way, 99% of you watching this video are not subscribed. So please hit that subscribe button. It would be really helpful for me to get into my first thousand subscribers on this channel. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe. Stay safe and bye.